So in the previous video, we introduced via example how conditional probability is brought in uh, through a worded problem example. Okay, so really in this video, I want to go through and show you the notation that's used and really conceptually what's going on. So here is a Venn diagram, okay, a bog standard Venn diagram, two events, and there's an intersection. Now, what we do is we say that we want to find the probability of A given that B has occurred. Okay, so we use this vertical line to separate the A and the B, and this reads as the probability of A given B. Okay, so given that B, that we know B has happened, okay, given that we know that we are picking from the math students, what's the probability of picking an English student? So given that we know it is in B, what's the probability of getting A? So the idea is that if I know that we are given that we're starting with B, then I can ignore anything else. Right? There isn't B. And I'm just looking at that circle. So if then I ask, well, what's the probability of getting A? Well, the probability of getting A is whatever is within that intersection there out of what we have for B. Okay, That's the probability of A given B. Now, this shaded area, that intersection, we know is given by probability of A intersection B. Okay? And if it is out of everything else that is in B, everything that is in B, then that is the probability of B. And this gives us a neat formula that we can now utilise for conditional probability. So the probability of A given B is the probability of the A intersection B divided by the probability of B. Now, likewise, you can reorganise that and you can say that the probability of B given A, well, that would be equal to, so if you're just looking at A, okay, it's the intersection divided by the probability of A. Okay? So then, this is the way that we really utilise it and introduce the formula. However, you are given this formula um, in your uh, formula booklet. You'll want to check to make sure it's there. Okay, um, And it's often written in a, in a slightly different way. So it's often written with multiplying the probability of A multiplied up so that it's written as the probability of B given A times the probability of A is equal to the intersection. It's quite often written that way. However, in using it, we often kind of think of it like this. So it's well worth um, remembering the formula because written like that, it can get a little uh, fiddly to utilise.